third, like kind of like my third month anniversary coming up here doing this, and it's been a fantastic journey just getting up here and doing this. So I want to thank y'all first of all for giving me a platform to do this. So this is fucking awesome. Um, Dylan, I heard you talking about you you were having uh, shitty jobs and everything. I sympathize with you, man. I had my first job. I was 15 years old. Back when you could still get a job at 15. I worked at Lee's Chicken. Y'all remember Lee's Chicken? Anybody over here? I'm, per I'm in there on Pyramid Dairy. It's a, it's a shitty Staten's abandoned bu building now. Yeah, I was there. I was there for like a year. Oh, that was, that was awesome. But I worked from, I worked from like when I was 15 to. Uh, till I was 27 year, years old. Not at least, God no. Uh, but you know, I went. I you name a job, I had it. I was my. But it really came to a. It really came to a a, a, a crescendo when I spent a majority of my time. I was like, I was. I spent like seven, almost 10 years in the fast food industry, and my stress level. And because of that, now I have stress-induced seizures. So, I can't go to work. <laughs> so, but on the upside, uh, Sophie, if you do see me in convulsions and you know you're getting busy, just throw a shaker in my hand and you'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so uh, quick question: Who told Pulse Malone that he could rap? I don't know. Yeah. Um, for those that are not aware, Pulse Malone is a shitty singer that on Wikipedia and every other type of mu music, article, website, magazine, what have you, he is also described as a rapper. This is not true. Uh, he is the he is he is he is a rapper in the same in the same way as I am a beauty queen model. Um, and, yeah. Um, so I've I've come up with a theory about this, and if you look, if you, if you think about it, there has been all of these different musicians, all of these different artists that have been, um, it's almost like the gender identity politics coming up where rap rappers identify as singers on these tracks and singers identify as, as rappers on these tracks. And you know, you got your Drakes, you got your Fetty Wops, um, you got Nelly. The only the only difference between your Nellies and uh, Post Malones and your Drakes and your Fetty Wops is that Nelly did it right. Re Nelly was the only one that that did it that did it good. But you know, I like I like I, Post Malone you're, is a good. You're, you're right. Nelly was way better. Thank you, sir. You're, you're now. Right. Um, uh, as I said before, I've been doing this for about three months, but this is not my first time doing the open mic shtick. Uh, um, have y'all been to... Why do you laugh at that? <laughs> I, I'm just laughing that you said shtick. Yeah. Um, he at least got some of it right. Okay. Um, okay uh, have anybody here been to Corbett but McGee's down the, down the road? Uh, hey, hey, love McGee's that place. Yeah. Um, back in the day when I used to go there, well, I mean, I, I still go there, but when I used to frequent there quite a bit, they used to have like your open mic nights, quiz nights. I don't know if they still do. I haven't been there in forever. But I started going up and doing uh, music open mic nights. So I would get up there, play my, play my little guitar, and play some, uh, I think, I played the first song I ever learned was Mary Jane's Last Dance by Tom Petty. Great song. Thank you. I love, I, I'm a big Tom Petty fan. Uh, just don't ask me any song titles right now. <laughs> but um, but uh, in, like, in the audience, um, about right where, about right where, uh, well, right where Chris is at, there was a very nice um, older uh, drunk fellow uh, just smiling from ear to ear and using his phone as like a fucking lighter, just like, woo, you fucking rock, man. I'm just like I'm trying to concentrate on shit, trying to get the words out. And when I finished, he was like, do free bird. He was just grinning from ear to ear, and I was like, sir, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I, I don't, I don't know that one. And his, his, his smile just slowly 
retracted to a sign of disgust, and he looked at me and he said, "Fuck you!" <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't talk, I don't talk to my grandfather anymore. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. My grandfather. The street got me like.